Well, my story was pretty unremarkable up until the time we discovered this condition of mine. I had a very normal life, metro bulo dodo. Well, I had a complaint about cough, consistent cough early on and lasted me for a few months for which I had to visit a doctor. And upon further uh, scanning, they discovered that I had uh, cancer after uh, more assessment. Uh, it was, I was told about my uh, kind of cancer, which is very rare. Dr. Kools uh, once uh, gave me a comparison as to being hit by a big 18-wheeler uh, and the kind of trauma would induce the kind of surgery that I went through. And uh, yes, it was a big surgery, having to take uh, one lung along with associated tissue out completely. And one of the problems with rare tumors is that we don't know how to treat them very well because they don't come along that often. And so to try and get past that limitation, we are doing something in the lab that I think is exciting and that's very novel. So what we do is at the time of surgery, we will take tissue from the tumor and we'll grow live cancer cells in the lab from that patient. These are called patient-derived organoids, and they're thought to very effectively recapitulate the disease process that, that is going on in your patient right now. But it affords us two opportunities. The first opportunity is that we can check the genetics of that cancer, and that can help us uh, choose drugs, so it can educate our decision on which drugs to try. But more importantly is we can try those drugs on those cells that we took out of that person. You can try 5, 10, 15, 20. There's no real limit to how many drugs you can try and find a solution. You know, you could find a drug that works. If you find some drugs that work, you in theory could apply them back to that person. Um, that's something that's extremely new. It's something that's extremely exciting. So it saves a lot of time. Uh, it saves the person a lot of potential suffering because you don't have to go through toxic drugs that may or may not work. Here at the Montreal General Hospital, we've been able to uh, develop one of the world's best living biobanks in thoracic and upper GI cancers. And this is extremely powerful, not just for discovery for future generations of patients, but also has impact back to the patient who is treated. We're starting to look towards a time where maybe the operations aren't, aren't necessary. The patients can preserve their lungs. They won't have to deal with the pain of the operation and the potential risks of it. So there's no question that it's an exciting time and figuring it, all this stuff out won't be simple, but it's, uh, it's very promising. We've made an enormous progress and uh, philanthropy has played a huge role in terms of getting us as far as we have come. To know that uh, you don't have certain established uh, treatment plans for your kind of disease is very disheartening. But then if your surgeon tells you that there is a certain other way that, that they can go about to find out if there are other drugs that can work on you is, uh, is a ray of hope. There is always a positive side to uh, any situation. Uh, this is one of the positive aspects of my condition, of my disease, that I spend way more time at home uh, with my kids with whatever limited amount of activities I might be able to do with them, they are very grateful, as am I. I'm determined and I'm focused on my treatment, and so far so good, it's been working very good.